Wow. Things are really heating up and just two shots are the top five players right now. Previously on the Good Good Road Trip Tournament. Handicap. I got that. What's up? You want to take a look at something? This is a bonsai tree, and then these are two different bonsai trees. Bonsai trees? I have four now. So anyways, we're about to pull up to Fossil Creek. I was saying this is my favorite public course in uh, Texas. Alright, 200 to 3. Let's hope I can get a little fire going in this round with that. Oh, need to make a comeback, Colin. I saw the puck go in. That's the confidence booster. 100, huh? Oh, you're looking at my club. How, about, how do you feel about a 50? You looked at my club. I didn't. Yes, you did. How could I see your I saw club? Your I'm right, right here. What do you mean, let's go? You saw my club? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Coming y'all's way is the back nine of round three out here at Fossil Creek. Here's a quick update of the leaderboard and where it stands. Steve is in the lead at 15 under par. Sharf is one shot behind at 14 under par. Quan, 12 under par. And then you have uh, Garrett at 11 under par. Brad at nine under par. And AJ at plus two. We have uh, 27 holes of golf left to come y'all's way. Back nine here. The next course, 18 more holes. This is the biggest good, good major we've ever done. We hope you guys are enjoying the video. Let's get right into hole 10, par three to start us off. I got a six iron. I mean, it's straight into the wind. Also, we're back. And you guys probably saw the recap. Oh, we're back. The scores in this group are Steve's three over, I'm two over. Matt is even par on the day. I need to make a comeback. I said I was gonna shoot 69. I need a big, big back nine, a five under back nine if I wanna do that, obviously. It's in play though, it's possible. All right, five iron in hand. Hopefully that's the right club, just get over. It's been location with every ounce of my blood. Is that five? That's got to sit by five. I hit it pure, of course, and I think it's way long. I think I didn't trust myself for some reason. And that's all right. I mean, hey, it's better to be long. I got a six iron. Fresh start, Garrett. This is the one. Fresh start. No, or it's gonna be a putt from Destiny. Yeah, that's a long one there. Holy crap. We chill in Garrett's putt, me and Steven are both long. Actually, I might be on the right side over there. I thought I saw a ball. Yeah, I think you're fine. Steve's a little long at pin high. I have a long, long putt. Probably yeah. about as long as you can get on this course. It's we, a tough one. Yeah. Is, if you make par here, you are you might be gaining 0.5 on the, on the field here. That's no, a tough one. This is a very, very challenging hole right now. It's more mentally challenging than anything, though, I yeah, think. Yeah, 100%. Gosh, I wish I could put one on a grill right now. It worked out. Oh, this is a tough one here, brother. Not where I wanted to leave myself. Green's running away from me. Get it up on the green surface. Sit. See, that's what I can't do right there, Colin. I got a snapper here. Oh my god. Boys, mentally. Physically, everything about today, I've been so off on this front nine. The whole goal for the back nine is just get it locked in. There you go, G. All right, Colin, that was just so unfortunate. I mean, I can still chip in for par, you know? That's the hope. Oh my goodness, if I, somehow if I would've, all right. Dang! All right, for Bogues. Let's get it in. Nice pot. Right. Good, Good bogey ball. saves by me and Steve. Great part by Garrett. I think he actually gained, he's definitely gonna gain some on this hole because it's a tough one, so. Yeah. Moving on, hole number 11. We'll forget about it, we'll scratch it. Let's keep playing well. Starting off the back nine at Fossil Creek. Part three, cool looking hole. 
176 yards back into the breeze. The pin is up front and there's water just short of the green. So trying to play it a little behind the pin. I got six, it's gonna try to hit a little three quarter knockdown. Yeah. That's so far. Why are you hitting? Every time I try to take it easy right now on an iron, I just pull hook it and it goes miles, but. All right guys, back nine, gonna try to switch the mojo here. We're still happy, like we still got happy thoughts. We're, all, we're still here in the head. We haven't gone crazy just yet. Went into the face, downhill, gonna try to smack a seven. She's alive. Yeah, we're dry. I'm going with the six. Take a little mm. off of it, a little chippy. Oh, you like that, huh? Mm. I was gonna say six. <laughs> Shut up. I think that needs to sit. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be saying needs to sit instead of needs to go, though. Weird of a side but there were just like women walking around at night, and I was like, dude, if I saw this in the US. I mean, I'd probably get it at seven iron there, but I didn't want to flirt with that water. But now I have a very tough putt because I six iron and, and pulled it left. Judge the speed right, hopefully just two putt and get out of here. Whoa, whoa. What the? I'm not gonna lie, I thought I hit that a little too hard, but I didn't say I was gonna be scared that I was gonna go in the water off the face. All right, Mike, a little left to right up the hill. We've got this for our part putt. All right, well, I got like 20 feet going back up the hill for my second putt for my par. Let's see if I can make this. Easy to <laughs> Golf is so freaking stupid sometimes. Take that par though, stay at 200. They're all hitting probably a different club. You got a tee on you, Garrett? Matt, you got a tee on you? This is a par four. Five. Oh, I forgot. This is a weird one. It's like a three shot hole no matter what. Wow, Steve. That's gonna be close. That's actually fine, I think. I have a three iron here. Great ball. Okay. So, I forgot what hole this is, but it's a three shot hole no matter what. Yeah. Even if you, like, in theory, clears the uh, corner. Ball. God, just a little bit, would you? All right, nine iron in hand. I need to hit something 200 and something yards, man. Holy blade. Hey, I think that's actually fine. I've done a couple calculations, 150, to, I mean, Sorry, 250 to the white stuff right there, which is that bunker. That's like my perfect three wood. I'm just gonna go straight over it. I'm, I'm not laying up. YOLO. So good at golf, Steve. Gosh dang, brother. Put me on tour, dog. I don't know where it went. All right, I have 160. I'm gonna open up a seven iron and try and hit it over. This, or do I take a nine iron and try and kill it? I don't have my clubs now. I'm gonna hit mine. Well, I'm committing to the shot, I guess. Go. Go! Well, there's good news and bad news in every shot, and the good news is, is I'm in play, bad news is I got kind of a tough shot. Quit it. Ah! What are we I'm doing on this hole? Hey, I saw that hole and I took it on. I beat it. I beat the, I beat the dunes out that hole. So now we got a little flop shot, get up and down for Birdie at worst par, hopefully. Let's not do anything that I just said, under half of a full swing. I did that, but I forgot I literally kill my 60 degrees, so it's uh, pretty much a full swing with the club open like that. All right, well, another bunker. Gotta try my best to get this up and down. Four par, slightly unfortunate. Um, so far on this hole, it's pretty attackable par five. But don't. 
I don't have the touch right now. Something about it today, guys. I think I kind of lost my feel. Gotta get back in the bunkers and start working on that stuff. Work on the wedges around the greens. Get my touch back. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Yes! Oh, how could I, how could I? Nah. Last time I played this course, I was six under at this point. <laughs> when Slightly you're different. Not. In the hole for par. All right, I gotta make a par here. How did I, do, how did I? I don't know how I just made par. <sighs> Yikes. No break. That's good. What a bar. What an two, up and down. Two weird bars for me and Garrett there, I'm gonna be Yikes. honest. Holy um, crap. Moving on to hole number 12. Come on guys, we can still rotate this back nine around. Let's do it. Let's rotate. Hole number 11, part five, 550 something. But we're gonna try to make it a lot shorter. We're gonna go over these houses kinda. Um, it's like 260 to cover all that water. So trying to go over the edge of this fence. Take a drive, should be down there pretty, pretty decently close to the green. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. It's a little right of where I wanted, but I think that's a hammer to smash. Should be even better. Right there. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, but it's somehow straight. 192 yards here on this par five. I'm just gonna take seven iron, try to get it over these trees quick. Downwind should be able to get it there. So I'm gonna try to put a good swing on it. Sweet. Yeah. On the green in two. I like whoop, whoop. sitting here for you. How do you know? I actually think I need to take, oh no, oh, no, you're right. You need eight? I was gonna say take a little off the of seven, but I think you're right. But you only know that because AJ just hit from literally one yard behind me. No. You're a teacher and you're copying other people's homework. No. <laughs> All right. That's so bad. 176 yards, uh, driving it at perfect. Downwind, I got nine iron. I think it's a perfect club, so. Oh, stop pulling it. Dude, it's a nine iron. Stop pulling it. Oh. oh. I shot Yowza. Bradley. Pin high, you were right with the club. But you made me push it. That's on me. <laughs> good thing you're gonna two putt this good birdie. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully one putt it. Reach. What's wrong with me? Hit the ball. Okay. okay, we have an uphill right to left putt for Eagle, actually. Uh, I'm kind of surprised myself here with this one. Come on, AJ. Come on, AJ. <clears throat> I didn't leave it short. I got it there, just a little right. But hey, we made birdie. He's back. That's straight. Let's make this bird. Three birdies, Thank baby. You. Well, y'all, after that hole, a lot has happened on the leaderboard. For the first time in the good, good West Texas shootout, we have a tie at the top. Not just a two-person tie at the top, we have a three-person tie for first place. At 13 under par, we have Steven, Scharf, and Luke. In second place, we have Garrett at 11 under par. And in fifth place, we have Brad at 10 under par. So from first to fifth place is only three shots. And then we have AJ. AJ made a nice birdie there. AJ got it back to plus two. Anything can happen. Three-way tie at the top. Luke, Sharf, and Steven. Let's get on to the next hole. Yeah, he said he pulled some sort of muscle earlier or yesterday. He's pretty banged up today. Go. Should be perfect. Wait, what? Hold on, I shot that line, it was 245 on that line. Oh yeah, that's 
That's just unreally good. Good play. Great. That's going to be a long hole for Sharp. Perfect. Damn. Great ball. Well done, mate. That's all right. We got right. the final 18 tomorrow. And it's twin, so you can, you can go crazy. True. You can go low at twin. Problem is everybody can. That's true. Here's the problem, guys. I guess I probably shot here with the rangefinder, and then I thought where my ball was headed was where I shot, but it landed right up in that pocket. The pocket where it's just so much farther to carry. So that was the difference between like 245, obviously on this line you're perfect, but. You know, golf's a game of inches is what they say. Now I have to get up and down for par. I'm making this round very hard on myself, and that's all right. Let's get this up and down. 99 yards. I ain't gonna do it. I gotta hit his ball. All right. All right, Colin, here's the good news again. We're in play. Bad news, can't see the pin here. Dang it. No! Frick! Bend it. All right, just gotta focus in. Get up and down for par. That's a another mistake. 84, and I can go long this time a little bit on the left side. Okay. That's so bad. That's just, what the heck? That's just so bad. I gotta put a par. Realistically, if I make this, I'm I'm okay. My goal is like, I wanna be within five shots going into the final round. So there's a lot of golf to play. There really isn't that much golf to play, but uh, that's all right. Before you putt that out, Steve, I got a quick score update for you boys. I know Sharp's already looking for his ball, but I want to tell you before you putt, we don't just have a tie at the top of the leaderboard between you and Sharp. It's you and Sharp are tied at 13 under par, and Quan is also at 13 under par right now. What did he do? He birdied. Quan is... What did he birdie? The last hole, the par five. Yeah. So Quan started the day at uh, eight under, and he's 13 under now. He is five under on the day. Whoa. He's having a really good round. Just an update. I just wanted to let you know that one of the big boys Where, back Where's there. Brad? Brad is in it too. Brad's three under on the day at 10 under. And what wow. am I, 11 under? You're two over on the day, you're at 11 under. What am I? You're 13 you're, under. You're tied for the lead at 13 under with so, Sharp and Quan. Hey boys, I need to do some work on these last six. Come on. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Really. <laughs> Glad you just called in that. That, that, that is like 100 foot deep. Hey, perfect. Look at that, nice and clean out here. the greatest par I've had in years. All right, put it down for Bogues. Dang it, that would have been literally the most legendary par I've had in a while. Number 12, par four, dog leg right. Pretty short one, kind of a tricky drive it looks like though. Back into the breeze a little bit, so we're gonna be going, we're gonna cut a little bit of the water off, but not much. Be perfect. Hey, is that the line? That's a little far, right? It's too far, right? Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh. Good until it's like splash. Piece. You better sit Jay, down. Oh. Okay. All right, I got 99 yeds. Probably means I'm going to 56, just like Michael said earlier. Just without the camera being on. Yeah. You, you should actually, like, you should be a PJ Toy caddy. I should not. What the? Bigger bounce than that? All right, 85 yards to the screen. Well, 85 yards to the pin. It's a little downwind. I'm gonna try to hit it more 75, 80-ish. Perfect. 
All right, Mike, I think you can drive down here. Got 76 yards, hitting right down the uh, angle of the green. Get yeah, some close, 76 yards, get yeah, some close. I mean, I really, my... I gotta figure out my wedges and short irons, but that's for another day. Let's see if I can make this one off the green. Round of golf. You know, I disagree with that one. That way. Oh. Uh, All right, somehow I have like an eight footer for par here. That moved right. All right, yeah, walking off 12 green there. That three man tie for first has now dwindled down to two players. Steve with the par there and Quan with the par there remain in the lead at 13 under par. Sharf is one shot back at 12 under par. Garrett 10 under par, Brad 9 under par, and AJ with that bogey there goes back to plus 3. We have a very long par 3 coming up. Tough with this wind coming out the right, going left across the hole. A lot of potential for some movement on the leaderboard here. Let's get to it. 203 yard par 3. I have a 6 iron in hand. Just trying to kind of ride the wind. This should be the club. Downhill, downwind. down from there. The good thing about me is I literally don't, I, I don't care about anything other than the hole. I did the same thing. Uh, stay on it, stay on it. Wind, grab it. Yeah. Okay, Steve. Long putt from Herdy, you got it. Hey, Colin, honestly thought I was in the bunker. So, kind of an easier shot without being in the bunker. Up and down for par, come on. Not getting one back, but we did have a, a terrible break on the last hole, so let's make it. All right, well, fortunately I had to take a drop. Some days are like that, and you just have to roll with the punches. It is what it is. See if we can get this up and down for bogey. All right, everything goes right. I've left every putt short, and when I've gone long, I've gone real long, so. Let's do all the opposite things of that. Well, this is for the bogey, unfortunately. The much needed putt right here. I thought that was in. Nice par. All right, come on boys, we got it. So got a little bit of golf left to play. Let's make something happen, come on. 202 yards, par three, downhill, number 13. I got eight iron. Yeah, trying to just forget what happened last hole. That was, that was bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Hole in one? No. Four! That's a short one. <laughs> I'm second thought I like eight. Oh, after you see someone's homework. Hey, can I copy your homework? Sure, just make it a little bit different. Needs more so much. Well, I don't know why I tried doing that. It was actually a really good swing too. Uh, all right, I'm a baby of seven iron because Mike, you're giving me terrible clubs. You're what? you're on the chopping block right now. Huh? And he made it. Get there. Actually made it. Wow. Ooh. I thought I hit it good. I must have not. All right. Well, since we did cross, we get the drop up here. This is my third shot now on the part three. Yeah, like 35, 40 feet from my birdie. Not a great shot in here, but it's on the green, we're putting. Dang, Max just stepped on my line. <laughs> uh, I will say though, this putt has three putt written all over it. No. I'm being serious, I might, I'm actually, I'm probably gonna three putt. No. That's gonna go. Oh Lord. 
What did I say? Okay. Three putts written all over it. All over it. The rest of it is literally. See if I can make this for a, a dumb two putt. I just. All right, y'all, walking off 13 green. We have another three-way tie at the top. Steve, Sharf, and Luke, all 12 under par. Garrett and Brad are now tied at eight under par. And then AJ, rough hit in the water there, moves to plus five. Welcome back to another tee shot with Garrett Clark. Downwind, I'm gonna try and launch this one, take about all the anger possible out on this ball. Hit it as hard as possible. Why does everybody keep saying I've never seen anybody play the tips here? Uh, They've been saying that? I've, that's, I've, I've heard so, it three times now. It's a short course. Yeah. He's in. Chill on, brother. Well, go! Here you go. Get a mile! Thanks, sir. Go a freaking, go a mile, go, go 500 yards, man. Come on, I need to bounce back after that bogey I had on that, literally a perfect shot and I bladed it over the green. Come on, we got it, come on. I faded P wedge, perfect club. Someone took my club at the fan meetup, so I'm actually missing four clubs. I don't have my 11, which is a 50, which is what I need. We're just gonna, we're gonna trust it. Also, if I make this, I'm jumping in that pool. All right, let's see if that putter can't start getting closer to the freaking hole, because that was just chunk. I'll be completely honest with everybody at home. I'm really pissed off right now. And hey, it's okay. I'm really mad, I'm really upset, and I'm really pissed off. And I just have to be completely honest. Now that that's out of the way, now that we have communicated. We have a better understanding here. Yeah, I yeah the first, I mean, the first step is, I mean, you just gotta always communicate in a relationship. And since I'm in a relationship with all of you guys at home, yep. you guys have to know what's going on in my brain right now. I'm pissed off. Yeah. Now, with that being said, I'm going to try and lock in and focus. I'm not going to talk too much the rest of the video. And I don't want you guys to think that that's because of anything wrong. I just genuinely need to focus right now. And I hope that you guys can appreciate that. You're probably not going to hear too much out of me. Um, but I'm going to lock in. I have five holes left to get myself in some sort of a position to have any chance on that last round. Because Brad and Luke, they're going to go low at Twin Creeks. I'm in an understanding that that's going to happen. Right now, I have to finish these last five as good as possible if I want any sort of a chance. Let me lock it. I just told the car cam, I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to focus here. They already know I'm upset. They already know I'm pissed. I told them I was made sure that they were aware. But I need to lock in these last five and just focus. Come on, Colin. I'm also trying to lock in these last five. Come on, 53. Good old Texas wedge, baby. That's one you don't want to miss down here. Let's see. Look at that, Colin. I literally dropped that up there. That would have been a bad one to miss right there. Yeah. That's a very illegal pin. She gone. 384 yard par four, dead straight. Downwind. I'm swinging, swinging my, my balls off here. Pulled it, but I'll be up there somewhere. I'll make bogey. Dude, my ball is so scuffed and cut up and yeah. ruined. Yeah, nice. Catch out, bud. Catch 
Chow? Cat Chow. What's Cat Chow? I'm swinging as hard as I possibly can. Good miss, bud. Hey there, bud. Oh, no, you might be right. 69 yards. I think it's 67. I think it's 67. You're pissing me off, dude. Is it actually? It's 69. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> You're driving me nuts. Well, uh, I got 69, like you said. Woo! Big bounce. Yay! Hey, good shot, Michael. I'm, why, why am I even playing? You're playing for me. Yep, 67 yards. You gotta stop playing sloppy. I gotta hit this one close. It's 67 yards, easy shot. Just over here on the left side, 60 degree in hand. All right, on the green. Uh -oh. Yes, great putt. Thank you. The amount of illegal flags I've seen in these three days. I mean, I will say this is maybe teetering on the side of maybe not being illegal, but it's a foot away from being illegal. Come back to me, come back to me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Garrett and Brad both making birdie there it means they remain in a tie for fourth at nine under par and then we still have a tie at the top between Steven, Scharf and Luke at 12 under par. On to the next hole, let's see what happens. Moving on to the next one, another little par four. Great hole there, good little comeback hole for all of us. One under for, for the group, pretty solid. Par four, dog leg right. Uh, if you had it at the stake, you're not gonna you're not gonna be in any trouble because you can either go in the bunker or you go right. Damn. Yeah. All right, right at that bunker. Wow. Three great balls, I think, out there. I think Steve's fine. I think that went in the 150 stake. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. That's money, baby. Hole in one. That's what we do around here, Albatross. Thank you. I think Steven is fine. I think that's the only worry right now. I think Gary just hit an absolute rocket ship down there. Very, very nice line. I had no idea what the line was. I just took a little iron, just aimed at the 150, and, and just put it in play. I think we're both going to have some great wedge shots. I think Garrett's locking in here, you guys. He's, he's a scary man when he locks in. So he's coming off a beautiful birdie. He's got another great chance to make a birdie here. Hopefully, I'm uh, I'm in great position to make a birdie as well. It's got to be a hole in one, you guys. I was less than a foot away. 55. All right. Garrett had a beautiful shot. Steven's fine. 55. Another tackable pin. I barely got it over. That's not good. All right, up and down for par. Eight iron. This isn't easy. I can't really putt it. I guess I could, but it's just a lot of divots in my way. I don't know. That was just, see that? That's, hate that for me, Luis. I hate that. Should put it. That's straight. Haven't made a putt in a while, so let's do 
do that. Come on, come on. I already did my damage yesterday and I'm not gonna do any more because that's just, just cause I can get more clubs does not mean I need to do that. All right, hole number 15, dog leg right, par four. Michael, you got a lot taller, man. Yep. Um, yeah, just gonna try to put the ball in the fairway here and try not to make as many bogeys on the way in. Trying to go right on the edge of this little canyon we got going on. Damn, this is the tallest I've ever looked. Oh no, that's bunker. Get on the ground. All right. Hopped that, out of the bunker, but I think you're fine. That tee shot is very uncomfortable. It was not digging out. I was trying to a little bleeder, towed it. No idea if that's good or not. That's Probably not. I don't know how far it is to carry this stuff on the right, but I hit that solid. I will hit three wood, kind of low, kind of slidey, not too slidey, hopefully in the fairway. That's not sliding. Honestly, I don't, I don't mind it, just being a bunker. Or short of it, or long of it, or left of it. 152 yards, I got lucky, rolled through the bunker and ended up here on top in the grass. 152, into the wind off the left, I got nine iron. Dude. What the? All right, I got 159. Echo. What should I go? Eight iron or seven iron? I like eight. Yeah, 111 to the green. I've got pitching wedge. I'm gonna try to flight this. I used to practice this shot in college. I don't practice it anymore, so it probably won't work out, but we're gonna try. Nice. I'm nice. tired of this. You're supposed to be handing my clubs, not asking me what club I have. Yeah, you're right. You know, if I putted this, this would be three putt written all over it. But if I chip it, it's also uh, not up and down written all over it. I agree. Now I hope it wasn't so great. What did I tell you there, Michael? Oh. That's the line. All right, y'all, Luke with a bogey there. That drops him back into a tie for first with uh, Sharf and Steve, all of them at 11 under par. Garrett broke out of that tie with Brad with a nice birdie there to get to 10 under par. Brad remains at nine under par. Let's get on to the next hole. Oh my God. Who let this man cook? I don't know, Sharp. I might try and carry it. That's gonna be perfect. <laughs> What's up there? Do you know? I took so much off that driver because I think it, I think yeah, I think you can go to it if you're like 270 or something. Me and Garrett got some irons. We don't really know what's up there. Just gonna aim at that 150. Try and keep it on the right side. Give myself an angle to the pin. Yes. What is that? You have three. Uh, two. It's off two iron. I mean, I think that's good. I think that's good. Bunka. Maybe right of it? Get right of it. Get right of it. Get right of it. Yes. Oh. You're right. Oh. You're perfect. Just right of the bunker. Not bad. Hmm. In between clubs. Hate being in between clubs. Easy nine iron it is. Here we are, Mr. Ross. 121, it said. Now, we had this last time, remember, Colin? Gotta make sure I dial this yardage in. It's downwind, I don't need to hit it full. Just give myself a birdie putt and try to eliminate that bogey. Come on! Four, maybe, Louis? Holy frick, I'm air mailing these. Sorry, Louis. That's tough. Well. I think I landed short on that hard stuff and kicked over, but if I would have landed anywhere else, like that other ball, it would have just stopped like there. But... Okay. That's 
all that. That's for sure. It should probably with a 56. Need this to get up and down for more. Also, I was in the drainage area in the shider stuff. I moved it out of the mud and dirt and casual water, whatever you want to call it. Oh! Dang it! All right, we're in the worst spot you could ever be. Uh, gotta get up and down, think positive, gotta get freaky. Gotta do something. Sit, sit. Eh, not bad. Well, uh, we got this for par. From literally water, standing water and mud to this, I'll take it. Go ahead and get this out of your way. Thank you, Shard. Thank you. There's a par. Two holes remain. So I'm even par, like technically I'm even par for the tournament with the handicap, I'm 10 under. These last two holes, I need to just do something. I mean, the goal is to get it to one over, or even even on the round. Maybe birdie eagle finish, that'd be pretty wild. Number 16, it's like, I think it's 380, 390 is what the scorecard said. Dog like left, I'm gonna be hitting four iron just to lay up. It is like a 300 yard carry to get over the water up near the green. It's a narrow area, so that's the reason why I'm just not hitting driver. Belch. Real treat to watch that one. Thanks, that one. Probably the best feeling swing of the day, finally. Let's get a little closer to it. I feel like maybe I was a little too far. I didn't hear it hit anything, so. I heard it hit something, but it's oh. not very hard. Get the bird. Why are you moving, bird? Well, get another ball out. 155 to the pin, one, probably about 145 to the front. I got pitching wedge, down one, nice and easy. Sweet. Dude, that was yeah. sick. Thanks. Uh, I took a job, obviously in the water. 140 is the number. I took a, I took a online with the flag back here. In case you don't know that rule, people act like I don't know the rules. I play pro golf. Ah, uh, tuggy. Sit down, ball. All right, 119 yards downwind. Got sandwich. I got down one of these wedges at some point, so on. Hey -oh. Not great, but it's a birdie putt. That'll be a double from there, he says. <laughs> what? I'm Again? on the green now. I'm gonna do double. <laughs> give me, give me a little, <laughs> little uh, steep. All right, I got like 20 feet for my birdie. Come on, Brad, dial it in. I just good birdie chance up the hill, a little left to right, maybe. Could go right to left, I see both ways. It was the no. wrong line. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Never mind, broke a little left, but it went in. We now have the first time in the whole Gugu West Texas shootout, Sharf with a solo lead at 11 under par after that bogey there by Steve and Luke. Dropping them to 10 under par, we now have a three-way tie for second with Garrett, Steve, and Luke, wow. Things are really heating up, and just two shots are the top five players right now in the Good Good West Texas shootout. All right, let's get on the whole 17 and see what can happen. All right, driver in hand, I don't really know. Don't really have a feeling on my golf swing right now, so just hope for the best, yeah? You passed the ball a bit somehow. You got the Come on, Steve, same thing. This swing putt all day. Oh, you're good. Tell I hit some rocks, so. All right. 
I'm done focusing. I'm still focusing, but I'll talk again. I needed to have my moment. I needed to have my moment of silence. Yeah, and then you went back to that birdies. Good for you. And once I broke the streak with the par, then I decided I'd talk again. I might be in that bunker, but I hope not. This is definitely the, one of the hardest holes, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, 217 playing. It says it's playing 223, so. See what we can do, a little fade for you, Iron. All right. I'll hold it down. We got 152. I got nine iron. Oh, just give me a good birdie putt. Give me some good birdie look here. That's all I need. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Jesus. Noodle. Man, I haven't, you hit from there? I haven't seen that in a while. The noodle flopped back there somehow. <laughs> Dude, did you see that? You gave him that tomahawk chop. It's tomahawk chop, baby. That's pretty solid. Come on. Quick update here for Matt Scharf and the group ahead. Uh, Quan just bogeyed there. You now have the solo lead at 11 under par. And now there's a three-way tie at 10 under par with Garrett, Steve, and Luke. Keep it going, brother. Sharf, <laughs> Sharf with the solo lead, y'all. Heads up. Do it. Oh, with the hole. oh my with the hole, Garrett. Talk about a big putt. That is unreal. That's a massive one there. All right, number 17, 380 yard. Doug like right. AJ is working the camera on this shot. Crazy. Simmer. Simmer down, biscuit. Should be fine. Probably just left to the fairway. Now AJ's up next. All right, hey, I'm AJ. <laughs> I got a driver. Just gonna get it funning out there real quick. A la verga. Back to my throne. What is this, like 131? I'm sick of this, Michael. All right, we got 131. Michael, what do I hit? Nice, I did a whole lot. Eight iron. <laughs> Eight iron it is. Let's go. Biscuit. Um, 138 yards over here. You got a little tree trouble. As long as I don't push it, I won't hit the tree. I got pitching wedge. You can hit a little knockdown. It's pretty good, I think. Looks like it landed the right distance. 122. I have 52 degree. A little downwind. That was a good swing if the hole was 20 yards shorter than that. Short right of the green. Hopefully it can finish this round strong and just forget about it tomorrow. Thank you. All right, see if we can make that for par. Oh! Dang it. I thought I made that one. My guy. My guy. Great putt, my guy. Thanks, my guy. Oh, this cannot be a thing anymore. Oh. oh. All right, y'all, coming off the 17th green there, we now have a different three-way tie at the top. Garrett, 11 under par. Sharf, 11 under par. And Quan gets it back to 11 under par. Then, in a tied for fourth place, we have Steve and Brad both at nine under par. Heading into the final hole out here at uh, Fossil Creek, the end of, uh, what would this be, part six of the Good Good West Texas shootout. 19 holes left to decide it all. Let's get to it. Final hole, I got through it here. Hey, 
That's purple. Stay right there. That is purple. Okay, kick left, but it should, I don't know what's over there, but I'm pretty sure that's good. Pretty sure that is perfect. Come on, eagle finish. Good ball. Dang. I want to say that's perfection. The thing about this too is the second shot is very easy in the bowl. Oh my god. Look at us, boy. Can I do that every time? Why can't I just do that every time? Come on, Eagle, Colin. Come on, Colin. Imagine an Eagle, Eagle for me and Garrett. All three of us are in fine positions here. I'm just going to hit a little three, but I'm not going to get there. Lay up and be fine. Oh, that way. Get past all of it. Get past all of it. Come on. All right. 260. Final hole. Got the three wood. I'm gonna try and cut one in there, Colin. Too much cut. Drop straight down. Pull out eagle. All right, I got a three wood cut off Louise. You already know the vibes. Four or five, we're good. A poor effort with that three wood, but I got uh, 100, and 100 yards even. I'm gonna play a little 50, 56 degree. Hopefully this cuts. I'm just gonna trust it. Pull this out for even par, come on. All right, good news, bad news again, Colin. Found my ball, a little bit tougher of a shot. Um, this has proved tough shot for me this, this last couple days golfing. So I need to dial in, got a little 62, get it up a little bit, let it sit, make birdie. Get a little read from Garrett there. Come on. Do your first next time, Steve. Nice. Way to give it a run. Gosh. I thought you were walking it in because you. No, I knew I missed it. Just a hard one to trust. It really is. Well, that wraps up our round. So Steve's nine under total. Me and Sharp are 11 under total, which honestly with Twin Creeks, you can go low, but it's kind of any man's game. Maybe not any man's game, but it's definitely like, yeah, people are gonna be- scorable. People are gonna all be able to score at Twin Creeks. So we're all kind of in it. Pretty surprising that the scores are this close after this many days, but uh, Twin Creeks tomorrow early in the morning, 7.20 a.m. Final round. Big day. Big day. Brad said it's like 290 something to the edge of the fairway. To so cover to the other side. Oh, uh, you wanna hit like 275 total? Okay, little, I'll uh, hit a little three wood, see if I can slice it and get in the middle. That's right on our heads. And a roll to it. Whoa. Okay, this one's dumber than the other one, but I'll hit driver. That's the line. <laughs> it's a matter of it, if it gets over. If it doesn't, whatever. I got lucky. I might have hit this tree trunk, honestly. Of like you might three. have hit this uh, fence. I might have. I might have hit the house. Well, didn't, didn't we hear like the clang sound? I didn't. I didn't hear any clang yeah. sound. I thought you heard clang sound. Oh, maybe. Oh. I think it hit. Got 305 yards to the pin into the wind. I'm not getting there, so I'm just gonna through and try to get as close as I can to the green. All right. Now swing is not feeling great this back nine, but. I'll be fine. All right, we got about 250 into this green. I'm gonna lay up with the four because I feel like I could get there with the three wood, but it's so inconsistent. Probably 
might just be in the left rough. All right, I ended up past this stuff. I knew that was the play. Actually, no, I didn't. That was, that was pretty stupid, but it worked out. We got, I, we actually had more room than I thought. Anyways, I think we're like 210 or something. I just saw the people, I don't know what the actual number is. Why are you behind me? Oh, come on. I hope that flag is on the left side of the green, but I don't think it is. Uh, got 67 yards, and a good spot here. Hit this one close, finish off with the bird. Shoot, shoot 69. Hit too hard. <laughs> that was a pretty cool shot there by Brad. I think it just rolled to the front. There he goes. Uh, he's slick back in. Uh, 66 for me. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Put it close. Can't see it. I think it's just there on the front too. I'll take it. All right, Michael. See if we can make our par after our aggressive play off the tee box. Just you know, settle for a par. Mikey, Michael, Miguel. Last part of the day, hopefully. <laughs> in the heart. That one was in the heart. Yeah, like 20 feet from a birdie after hitting the pin. Yeah, let's make it. Yeah, yeah nice putt, Greg. Thank you. Good putt. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching. I don't know if we're supposed to be out sure or not, Bobby, but. Yeah. Going to Bobby for outro. Yeah. Go to Bobby. All right, y'all. Finishing up the third round of the Good Good West Texas shootout out here at Fossil Creek. Again, there are 18 holes left to play. Two more parts in the shootout that we have going here. Driving all the way from Tucson, road tripping back to Dallas, Texas. Where your boys live. We have in the lead at the end of 54 holes, Quan at a total of 12 under par with a 68 today. And then tied for second, we have Garrett and Sharf at 11 under par. Garrett with a nice 74 today. Sharf with a really nice 75 today. And then in fourth place, we have Brad coming off a 69 today at 10 under par. Steve, he really scrambled out there. He really, Steve, he really scrambled around there to fire an 81 to be in at nine under total, putting him in fifth place. And then AJ, 42, 40 to better on the back to come with an 82 today and put him at six over for the entire tournament. It's shaping up to be a real good day of golf tomorrow. You got two of our heavy hitters, Brad and Quan, coming in there close, going to the final round. Garrett's up there. Sharp's been playing well. Who knows? Anything can happen. Stay tuned for the final two parts of the Good Good West Texas Shootout. We'll catch you on the next one. Much love. Peace.